Hello rainbows, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have a full glam makeup transformation from absolutely nothing on my face to what you see here. <laughs> but before we get right into that I do have a very exciting announcement. I've been sitting on this for so long, some of you may already know, but I am actually going to be the head makeup artist in an upcoming film that is being shot in the town where I live. So, oh my gosh, I am so, so freaking excited. This has been in the works for ages and I just haven't really kind of said anything, but the filming does start in December and then goes into mostly next year as well. So I have obviously read the script and everything. It is amazing and there's going to be lots of awesome special effects in there. I have already started playing around with some of the looks and I do have a tutorial coming out for this soon anyway. They are actually crowdfunding at the moment and they do have a few kind of prizes and giveaways including like a Skype call from myself. I will link it down in the description box below if you guys wanted to partake in the crowdfunding. No pressure at all. And the trailer and everything is also there as well. Can't wait for this experience because it's going to be something completely different than I've ever done before and I'm very excited for the special effect element of it because oh my god, yes, yes. <laughs> that being said, let's get right into this makeup look and I'll show you guys how it's done. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I am doing today is just going to be putting a base down around my eyes. I am using the Astralis Full On Stick Foundation and just coating this around my eyes and near my eyebrows as well. We're going to be starting with the brows, so I'm going in with my old faithful Tony Cosmetics Main Stain in the shade Thoroughbred. And basically what I'm doing is just kind of mapping out where I want my brows to sit, trying to make them as symmetrical as I possibly can. <laughs> oh, we all have that one eyebrow that just does not want to cooperate. So I'm just basically filling them in and then towards the inner corners of the brows I'm doing some kind of upward strokes. I do have a full tutorial, like more in depth, if you guys want to see exactly exactly how I do my brows but yeah this is just an overview. <laughs> now going in with a cream concealer from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to basically be mapping out around those brows just kind of sculpting them out and making sure they're how I want them to look. Then so my eyebrows stay in place I'm going in with Pony Cosmetics Zebra Brow Gel and just coating my brow hairs with this. <laughs> so on to eyeshadows. I'm going in with the BYS Berries palette and the first shadow I'm using is called Majestic. And just with a bigger, fluffier brush, I'm just kind of coating this into my crease just to add some warmth and it's gonna help the other colors to blend a bit easier as well. The next color I'm going in with is Juliet and it's like a kind of deeper, plummier, purpley color. So I'm using more of a bigger, fluffier brush and just really getting a nice wash and just diffusing those lines as best as I can. Now going in with a darker burgundy shade, this is called Cherry Bomb and I'm applying this with a smaller brush right into that crease to really get a good depth and concentration of color in that area. I'm then going back in with a fluffier brush and just kind of softening it all out as well. So now I'm just going back to the same concealer that I marked my brows out with and I'm just basically cleaning up that whole lid area because we're going for more of a cut crease. Nothing too dramatic but more on the, the softer side but I'm basically just kind of carving that area out. So now just as a base I'm using Urban Decay's eyeshadow in Space Cowboy which is a really really glittery kind of duochrome shadow. Then I'm going over the top with a beautiful, very glittery silver glitter from NYX. I'm not sure on the name on this one, but I've laid down a little bit of Line Crimes Clear Adhesive and then just patting this over the top. So going back in with that Cherry Bomb color and I'm basically just starting to sweep this into the outer corner a little bit, kind of using a smaller sweeping motion rather than anything too dramatic because we are blending this in with glitter and that can be a little bit hard. So I'm doing a, a combination of sweeps and pats as well. Onto eyeliner today, I'm taking the K-Pop Eyeliner by Astralis Cosmetics and just doing a nice big glamorous wing. Because I want the lash line to be very full and dark, I'm going in with a gel liner. This is just Makeup Geek's Gel Liner in Immortal and I'm running this in between my lashes on my top lash line and along my lower waterline as well. For the lower lashes, I'm going in with this gorgeous, gorgeous purple shadow from Sugar Peel called Poison Plum. Honestly, if you guys are in the market for extremely pigmented, high quality shadows, Sugar Peel 
is incredible. <laughs> so I'm just using a um, kind of pencil brush just to dab this along my lower lash line, then going in with a slightly fluffier brush, still with the same color, and just diffusing it and making it a little bit more noticeable. For primer today, I'm using the Clara Cosmetics Zero Pores Primer. Oh, it is so nice to use. It feels so silky. And foundation today, I am using the Hourglass Illusion. This is the Hyla, Hyla, oh gosh, Hyaluric Skin Tint. And I think I have found my new Holy Grail foundation. Oh my gosh. If you guys have this, let me know your thoughts because I was so impressed with this and I think I'm gonna actually have to buy it, even though it's crazy expensive, but oh, it, it's just amazing. <laughs> Lashes today, I'm using the Demi Wispies by Ardell and just applying those to my eyes. Then once that glue is completely dried, I'm going in with Essences. I love extreme volumizing mascara and going to town on my top and lower lashes. Start warming up my face. I'm going in with Pony Cosmetics Chocolate Ombre Bronzer and just starting to do the kind of perimeters and where I want to contour. Then for actual contouring, I'm going in with NYX's eyeshadow in taupe. Oh my gosh, this is like the perfect color. It's a very cool toned color. It's not shimmery. It is amazing. And I do love contouring mostly with powder products. So mm, I love it. <laughs> for blush today, I'm using a trio by Clara Cosmetics and I'm going in with the matte peachy blush and just very lightly applying this to my face. Then I'm going to town with Dose of Colors highlighter in the shade Pearl. From memory pearl I think it is <laughs> I'm just applying this to high points of my face my nose cupid's bow all those kind of areas and then for lips I'm going in with Lime Crimes Velveteen in the shade Sasha and applying this to my lips <laughs> Okay, Rainbows, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. And yeah, love you guys. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.